Congratulations, Miss Dillmount. It takes the average applicant seven seconds to walk from Flannery's perch to my way station. I clocked you at 6.4. That swell, just swell, the early bird and all that. Beautiful. How's that? Ah, uh, you're a beautiful trophy. I love baseball. Golf. I won it for golf. May I see your references? Uh, I don't have any, but I'm a hard worker and a fast learner. No references. How about previous employers? I don't have any of those either. You don't? I like that. Oh, you do? Absolutely. Isn't this the land of opportunity, Miss Dillmount? A place where the right combination of enthusiasm and aptitude can take a girl from nowhere straight to the top. Let's do this the American way. Bolt the door, take up your things, let's have a taste. Excuse me? Take a letter. Oh. <laughs> to Mr. John Hudson, Hudson's Florax. You'll find an invoice in the file for the address. Dear Mr. Hudson, colon, my eyes are fully open to my awful situation, so I'm writing you a letter to demand an explanation. When the Florax that we bought from you arrived here Monday morning, we discovered upon usage that the fume should have a warning. Since the only possibility is that your wax is rancid, I request a full refund of all the money we advance it. And unless you can convince me you've improved the flow wax batter, we will take our business elsewhere. So I hope you solve this matter. How's my speed, Miss Dillmount? A little slow, perhaps. Uh. Enclosed, we'll find a small container of the stuff I talk about. Just carefully remove the lid and take a whiff if you have a doubt. I'm sure you wouldn't want me to alert the daily papers with the news of how our office was affected by your vapors, which is why I choose to write to you a confidential letter full of strong recommendation that you make your Florex better. I just hope it won't require us to have our floor relayed, and if it does, you may expect a bill. Sincerely, Trevor Graydon. Now, Read that back to me, please. Certainly. Dear Mr. Hudson, colon, my eyes are fully open to my awful situation, so I'm writing you a letter to demand an explanation. For the Florex that we bought from you a right here Monday morning, we discovered upon usage that the few should have a warning. Since the only possibility is that your wax is rented, I request a full refund of all the money we advance it. Nice. And unless you can convince me you've improved the Florex batter, we shall take our business elsewhere, so I hope you solve this matter. Not half bad. Continue, please. In close, you'll find a small container of the stuff I talk about. Just carefully remove the lid and take a whip if you have a doubt. Sure you wouldn't want me to alert the daily papers with the news of how our office was affected by your vapors, which is why I choose to write to you a confidential letter full of strong recommendation that you make your Florex better. I just hope it won't require us to have our floor laid, and if it does, you may expect a bill. Sincerely, Trevor Greater. Miss Dillmount, may I speak frankly? Yes? If I could be so lucky as to have a good stenographer to keep this place as up to date as her short skirt and bobbed coiffure, I wouldn't have to worry about our soured office planking and could concentrate on generating profits ripe for banking. Which is why I'm testing you with this outrageous correspondence, which I don't intend to actually mail to the respondents. Oh. <laughs> so, if you can make sense of my unintelligible patter, then the job is yours and Hudson's Florex really doesn't matter. Hudson's Florex doesn't matter. Hudson's Florex doesn't matter. Hudson's Florex doesn't matter. Hudson's Florex doesn't matter. Now, I want that letter on my desk in two minutes flat. Man your machine. Go.
Still mounts? Flattery! Monday morning we discovered upon you see that the fiend should have a warning. It's the only possibility is that your wax is granted. I request a full refund of all the money we invented. This you can't convince me you've improved your flow wax matter. We will take our business elsewhere. So I hope you solve this matter. 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 Going on. In course, when I smoke and tear, I always stop and talk about us carefully and remove it and take away from you that I'm sure you wouldn't want me to relate all the papers with the news of how our office was affected by papers, which is why I chose to write you a confidential letter for some organization that you make it flow better. So we won't require us to have a flow related name, but don't you make the bills until you're ever graded. <laughs> you have made the tea, Miss Dillmount. You have made the tea, Miss Dillmount. Tell me where my desk is when we eat lunch, how much I'll be paid and nice to meet you. I know we'll be friends. Just call me Millie Graydon. Millie Graydon. I mean, Dillmount. Millie Dillmount. Something Graydon. Graydon. Dillmount. Dillmount. Graydon. Graydon. 